Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the previous tutorial we was working on a 3D logo and we did a basic design for the logo and in this part of the tutorial we want to add some color to that logo and a better light source uh, so we can improve the design. So, the, so what we're going to do is open up our original 3D logo that we're working on and for now we don't really need these transform tools so we're going to press N on the keyboard to hide them and you can also do that by clicking here the properties so you can hide and disable the properties and the tool shelf here as well NNT so those are, the, those are the shortcuts that we use so for now we're just going to press F12 on the keyboard to render and see what we originally done and we want to work on the colors here and maybe this this plane or this this uh, this floor we want to recolor that and get some better colors on our logo because it's looking a bit grey let's say so I'm going to press escape and one thing we didn't do is label this text here correctly so this one here when we click on it we can see DCP web is highlighted here but when we click on this one it's called DCP web 001 because we duplicated it so we don't really want that we want to double click here and type in whatever text we've written in there so in my case it's going to be called tutorials so we can clearly see what's going on here. It's quite important to label these things. It'll help you later, especially if you've got a lot of elements in your scene. So let's go ahead and click on DCP web. And we want to click on this option here. It's the materials option. So we're going to click on materials and we're going to add a new material. And we're going to set the color to, you know, whatever color you decide to choose. But I'm going to set mine to um, like a an orange type color so let's say something like this and then we can go ahead and press F12 again and we see our text is now this orange color and we work, we'll sort out the the bottom one afterwards we're going to do all of our work on this top one and then we can copy that to this bottom one afterwards we can replicate it let's say so let's just relabel this material it's called material at the moment and let's just call it text text material so we know exactly what it is and for now we're going to pretty much leave all of these options as default we may go through some of these later but for now we're just going to leave all of these options as default we're just going to have this orange color here um, now the next thing we want to do is copy this material to the tutorial so we click on tutorials here or whatever text you have and on the side here we're going to click on this little circle and we're going to select this material here the same one text material so now they're both orange and if we press f12 to render again we'll see they're both orange color so we press escape and really we should save this as a separate file so let's go file save as and let's make sure we give it a new file name so we're going to call it version 2 so if we do anything in version 2 that we don't like we can always get back to version 1 where we didn't have all these options selected let's save this and we want to change um, this floor color as well because when we render we can see it's like this white sort of gray color and we want to change that to a black color so we're going to click on the floor and we're going to add a material so just make sure the materials option is selected we're going to add a material to the floor as well the plane and we're going to set the plane to a black color so all the way down to the bottom make sure it's black or whatever color you like but I'm using black and we want to add a few extra options here we want to almost have like um like a mirror sort of effect on this floor and we want to have this object shine on the floor kind of shine we're gonna we'll see these settings and we'll see how it looks and you can play around with these settings to to make it look how you want it to look so we're gonna open up the mirror option and we're going to tick mirror to activate it and we'll set the reflection to around 0. Point, let's say it's around 0. 0.2 let's see how that looks and we'll set this option to about 2.9 let's say around to about 2.2.3 and the blend we can leave yeah let's let's increase that a little bit to about 1. Point, let's say to 1.300 
and the gloss we want to reduce that a bit let's set that to around seven around seven around 0 0.700 around that sort of marker and the sampling will increase that to 64 that will give us better resolution so around 64 okay let's go ahead and see what that looks like let's render that again and we've got this sort of shadow dropping here we'll work that out we'll sort that we'll sort all of that and we need to get another light source in here because it's pretty dark so what we do let's escape out of here and let's press F let's press number five on the keyboard to go into author and we'll press number three to go into the right perspective so number five and then number three and we want to add another light source here we want to improve the lighting um, so to make sure nothing's selected on the screen because you can see right now the floor has been selected we can press A and A will select nothing um, it's select all really so if you press A one more time it's going to select every single object and if you press A one more time again it will select nothing so that will just make sure we haven't selected anything and we're going to press shift A and we want to add in a lamp so we're going to add a lamp and it's going to be a hemi lamp and the lamp gets added down here and we want to click on the green arrow to drag it to the side and it's going to be roughly halfway between the camera and the text itself so about halfway and we're going to drag up and we want our hemi lamp to be roughly you know in the center of our camera pointing towards the the logo and we want to rotate this so we're going to press r on the keyboard and we're going to rotate the hemi lamp around so that it's pointing at the logo itself just like this and we want to change the color um, of our hemi lamp so we want to make that more of an orange color so it'll be an orange lamp light and we need to reduce the energy let's say it's roughly around half of what it is now we'll see what that looks like so it's around 0 0.500 and then we can go and render again f12 because our logo is much brighter now it's got the nice little um, reflections here and we've got this almost like a drop shadow here but we need to improve that we need to reposition this logo slightly so that it looks a bit better so we're going to press escape again and we're going to click press a to select uh, all Actually, we can just press the letter B. The lamp is already selected, so we're going to press B. And this is box select. And we're going to draw a box around the two text objects. So now we have the lamp and the two text objects selected. And we're going to drag down. And let's use our mouse wheel to zoom in a bit. So we zoom in with our mouse. And we want the bottom of this text to be just above the... Um, this green line which is the which is the plane the floor we could call it let's zoom out a bit more so we can see the camera and we're going to move our camera down a little bit not too much to about about here so the top of this camera is roughly pointing just above the logo so we press f12 again and we can see our logo has been rendered out and we've got this nice uh, sort of shadowy effect at the bottom here, this glossy sort of shadow effect. And we can, you know, we can play around with the settings to see what this gloss might look like. And we can stay in this particular view. And we can um, play around with this gloss setting to see how we want it to look. So you can simply click on the plane over here, staying in this view. And you can change the reflection, you can change the blend. So depending on these settings, you should really play around with them. And depending on what settings you select, it's going to look a bit different here. So, you know, we could set the blend to, to its maximum and then F12 and it's pretty much disappeared. So let's reduce that. And let's set the reflection a bit higher. And 
you can play around with your settings and see what you prefer. If you set the gloss very high, then you're going to get something like this, which is not really going to look good. So play around with your settings and see what sort of setting you like, what's going to work for you. And that's how you, you really need to experiment and see what options are preferable for your design. So you can just mess around with that and you know it's kind of the best way to learn how these settings work is just to play around with them and see what works for you. I'm going to set these back to the originals that I originally had. So let's set this back to, I think this was around 200. Uh, this was set to 2.3. And we'll set this to... increase our amount roughly around there so we've added a new light source that's improved our you know the the visibility of this this logo you could say it's giving it a new sort of shine to it we've, we've added an actual an actual um, material to the logo itself so it's an orange color and we've got this little drop shadow working here as well. So you can go ahead, go around, you know, and play around with the settings, change the colors, change all the materials, play around with these settings and see what works for you and try and come up with um, a, a setting that, that you prefer, what you, what you like. I quite like what I'm seeing here, but it's down to you what you want to set them up as. In the next tutorial, we're going to add a particle effect because this logo is going to come in from the top and it's going to hit the ground and then we're going to have some sort of particles fly out from the logo or from this where it hits the ground it's going to have some particles flying out and we want to see how that might look in our animation our final animation sequence and we're also going to look at the camera and move the camera and animate the camera so in probably in the next few tutorials we'll definitely be adding a, a particle effect down here somewhere and we'll also start looking at animating the logo so how we can move and manipulate the logo and also manipulate the camera to get this animation done so i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial have a play around with these settings with the colors and this drop shadow you don't have to have this here as well you can remove this reflection uh, this mirroring if you don't like it and we can see how this is going to look um, towards the end of our tutorial Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.